irrigation with raw or diluted wastewater takes place in, in and around three or four cities in the developing world and in total on around 20 million hectares. It's quite an amount. That's more than what is under irrigation in the whole of Africa. Why is this figure so big? There are at least two reasons. The first is that urbanization has outpaced sanitation infrastructure development in most of the developing countries and untreated wastewater is entering the streams. Another reason is that sanitation maintenance is very weak in many countries. Let's take for instance Ghana as an example. There we have approximately 70 treatment plants. Eight of them are currently only functional. So the result is that we have highly polluted streams and highly contaminated crops. In principle, we know how to assess the risk and we also know how to mitigate the risk to quite a significant extent. But these are short-term or medium-term measures. The question is what can we do in the long term. So we are thinking on how could investments in sanitation better support irrigated agriculture, especially where water is scarce. And how could sanitation standards better match irrigation requirements? And finally, how could both sectors better link to make also sanitation more sustainable?